Hi guys. Um, Quentin here, obviously. I do more videos than Dwayne. That's okay though. He's a busy guy. Um, today I want to talk about labeling and most important, mostly mislabeling. Because I am someone who um, I identify with labels. And that's okay. And it's okay if you don't want to be labeled. Like, that's okay. But I, I choose to be labeled because it makes it helps me understand myself better. So anyways, I've been mislabeled a lot. And, and it really came to a head over the weekend when um, I encountered a, a kid who didn't know that I was trans, but still said, you talk like a girl. You act like a girl. So it really got me thinking about all the times that I've been mislabeled since my transition started. And it's, it's an awful lot, which is sad. Um, of course, my parents are going to be struggling with it. My family's going to struggle with it because um, I spent 24 years of my life um, <clears throat> being called one name and being used and them using a different pronoun than I am now. But, um, but it's been a year, so I do get frustrated, and I won't lie about it. Um, but they still use the wrong pronouns. The name is a little bit easier for them now. Um, it's still a struggle for the most for some for sometimes um but it's mostly the pronouns because it's really nice when my parents are talking to strangers about me and they say my name is Quentin and they say my son Quentin and then in the middle of the conversation they use the wrong pronoun that's the best feeling and i love my parents to death they're trying really hard. My family's trying really hard. Even my six-year-old niece was like pronoun police when she was here visiting from Florida last week and the week before. Like, she got everyone. She, she was on their case like, that's not who he is. Don't say that. That's not his name. So that was funny. But I appreciate it from a six-year-old. Makes my life a little bit easier. But, um... But, but mostly what happens is I get called um, gay a lot. I have people think I'm gay because of how I talk and the mannerisms that I use and the fact that I'm extremely animated and because I like things like musical theater and, and, and dance and I watch television shows that are like Dancing with the Stars. So you think you dance. I love those shows. And then I get, when I get into like my favorite TV show, for example, The 100, who, where I just went and spent a weekend, you know, going to see people from that show, um, I get really, I'm passionate about that show. I love it. It's my favorite TV show. Once again, I've said that just about two seconds ago. So when I talk about it or the people on it, I am... I'm like I use my whole body to talk about it so there's that and then okay when you grow up in the wrong body and you have to fake who you are for for in my case for 24 years um it's extremely hard you get good at it it becomes a habit to move like a like a girl and to talk like a girl and you know the one thing that basically say the same as how I dressed um but it's 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 part of who I am I faked it till I made it and I made it pretty well I guess um wait just because I'm on testosterone doesn't mean that's gonna change testosterone does not does not change your like your brain chemistry um you are still the same person on the inside. It's just your physical outside is starting to match that inside for a change. And because I've grew up in the wrong body and 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 I grew up extremely closeted, um, I picked up on I picked up on how women how girls and women move and talk and and so that's how it's it's a hard habit to break. I'm working on it. I feel like I'm getting better. 
but there's one thing that will never change and that is how animated I am when I talk and how I will I'll mess around with like the different voices I use like oh hey honey how are you like I joke around with people and if that if if because I'm not that stone-faced emotionless guy that everyone I guess society thinks guys should not be emotion emotional or animated they should be just like oh I'm too cool for school because of that I'm labeled gay that's not the case okay I don't know if that whole sequence just now just made sense because I kind of forgot where I was going with that point but we'll keep we'll just truck along anyways um sorry there's people outside my door they're talking there shouldn't be very many people left on campus but anyways <clears throat> being mislabeled la 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 being called gay let's just clear it up okay i was born in the wrong body um so i'm ftm that means female to male anyways so i identify as a male and in my sexuality is i'm straight so if i'm a male and i say i'm straight therefore i like women okay and not the other way around it's not that um, I'm not saying I'm straight and I still identify as how I was born because um, that's not the case I'm not that would make me gay um, because I, and I'm not I'm not gay I don't identify I, I don't identify as gay and to be completely honest I never have thought that I was because before I even knew who I before I even knew that transgenderism that's a word before it ex I knew it existed People would, in high school, I'm sure everyone thought I was a lesbian. But I never felt that way, ever. And I never would have said that I, and if someone would ask me, I'd be like, no, I'm straight. And I, and I stick to it, I am straight. Because in my head, I am a guy. So, I really wish that people would not mislabel me because of that. Because of, just because I, I how I talk. And, and how I move and the fact that I put my whole body into conversation sometimes it's just who I am okay and the fact that I smile oh my god I smile at people when they walk by strangers when they walk by I make eye contact brief because I'm weird about it but I make eye contact I'll either nod my head or say hi how are you Something like that, you know, customer service, it's ingrained in my brain, okay? Can't even do, I can't, can't even go to the grocery store that I don't work at and not smile at people that walk down the aisle past me, okay? It's a habit. But anyways, I'm getting off topic. <clears throat> Examples, okay. I wrote it down. See, I really should write down everything because I just get off way off topic. But anyways, um, examples of how I've been mislabeled. I already told you about the whole family thing. And I told you about the little kid I encountered at comic-con and um but other examples are uh being mistaken for a girl over the phone that is extremely frustrating okay i have been really self-conscious about my voice especially with the transition because i even even Dwayne, who's been on t for now for four months his voice has always been deep even pre-t so but four months in and he's um his voice is even deeper and so I get frustrated because um, there will be days where my voice sounds, in my to me, it sounds awful. Like, it sounds very girly and I don't like it. Um, but apparently, <clears throat> over the phone, no matter, I thought the day, the day that this happened was when I was calling t to book the hotel room for Comic-Con. And um, the woman on the phone kept calling me a ma'am. And that was really frustrating. And... And apparently it's because, you know, I was taught, yet again, in customer service, that when you answer the phone, you should smile because people can tell on the other line. And it's true. They can tell if you're not smiling. Um, but so I'm talking to this woman, and I'm, I'm nice. Oh, my God. Heaven forbid I'm nice. And um, but I'm talking to this woman, and she keeps calling me ma'am. And it's like, that. every time she did it, I gradually got... A little bit more agitated and agitated and agitated to the point where like I was on the verge of being like I am not a, a woman like will you please stop but how is she supposed to know I'm on the phone we're in two different places she can't see me so and I'm not someone who's going to call you out 
and embarrass you in front of people or and not like I don't want you to feel bad that's not my type of person I'm not that type of person so I took it and then I whined about it afterwards but I got over it and I'm learning to do that and I'm learning to feel comfortable in my own skin and I and, and if anyone watches this video that is questioning who they are um, or maybe they they know who they are but people are telling them other things and it's starting to wane on like weigh on them I just want you to know it's okay to be who you are and identify as as such like I am not going to try and change how I how I act um, because that that's not being my myself that's not being authentic and and I, the one thing I hate more and most in the world is fake people fake and ignorant people like I I try not to hate anybody and I probably won't even hate you if you're if you're fake and if you're ignorant but sorry my radio went off I had to comprehend what she said but anyways be, be yourself don't be ashamed of who you are um, if someone if someone calls you something different than what you identify as then correct them um, something that I'm I'm not perfect and I'm gonna take my own advice I'm gonna start taking my own advice um, but don't when I say correct them don't do it in a, like a, a mean way what I what I do with um, what I do at work when I work, I work at a movie theater and I work there pre T in pre transition. And um Wow, I'm sitting in my room and they're calling for someone else to check out. Anyways, I'm not on duty. That's probably why. Um <clears throat> anyways. This whole God, sorry, I should have just turned my radio off. Sorry. Um, we're pausing for a second. I think they're done. I think they're done talking now. Um, anyways, be yourself. Um, don't be rude when you correct someone. What I uh, what I was saying before the radio started going off and distracted me. Um, to when you correct somebody, do it in a nice way. So what I do at the movie theater where I started working before I was transitioned, before I came out to anyone, um, I I correct the people that have worked there before. And what how I do this is when they use the wrong pronoun, I say she didn't do anything. She hasn't done anything. So. Um, and they catch themselves and and they're like oh god and they kind of like they know that I'm being serious about it and they know but they know at the same time like I kind of make it a, a, like in a joking manner to make them know let them know that I'm not trying to belittle them in any way shape or form so be and if it's somebody who's just going to be the rudest person to you then you either cut them out of your life or or wow this looks funny looks like my hands are growing out of my shoulders um either cut them out of your life or ignore them completely like if you have if you can't cut them out of your life um or or put your foot down and in those cases there's not much you can do there's always going to be ignorant people out there who refuse to accept the fact that transgendered people exist, that gay people exist, um, it's always, it's always going to be a thing, so, anyways, I think I've droned on long enough, I've gotten so far off topic so many times, probably this video doesn't make any sense, it's been 15 minutes almost, so I'll wrap it up, because I'm hungry and I'm looking at my food right now, um, but remember, be comfortable with who you are, um, it's a struggle, it takes a long time to 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 know who you are and 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 to strive to be comfortable with that. Um, but be kind. Be kind to yourself. Be kind to people. Um, 
Even be kind to the people that are just to those ignorant people. Be kind to them. Kill them with kindness because you know what's really going to hurt them most is when they can't get to you. So do that. Um, from Coming from personal experience, I know that um, angry people will be angry. Stupid people will be stupid. And all you can do is kill them with kindness because then they look like the fools. So... If you have any questions, if you just want to talk, I'm even if you're a stranger, if you just want to talk, just go ahead, message me on Facebook if you're watching this on Facebook or on you on here, comment below. Um, I think there's a way to message on these things. I don't know. Still figuring it out. But I got I made a list of things to videos to do, so and I think I got a pretty good list to go going. So hopefully we'll keep this keep this up and um I want to just try and 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 light put a light on all the different stuff that's happening in in my life and perhaps it's happening in yours as well and maybe we can connect that way. Um, but yeah, I hope you all have a great night. And sorry, just ripped that across the thing. Anyways, <laughs> good night.